Hey guys, John Vaporonic Technologies here today working with a machined part. This is a CNC machined aluminum uh, coupling here. And this is uh, sent in from a manufacturer and we are not going to list the name, but they have been looking for an efficient solution to putting certain finishes on these parts uh, while also deburring and just giving the part an overall nice aesthetical finish. The point of this video is not the aesthetical part. What I wanted to show you is the difference between dry blast, which is here, and this is the raw part. This is what it looked like from the machine, and then this is wet. And this wet process example, we use the same abrasive at the same pressures. We use 220 grit aluminum oxide in both wet and dry just to give you the same looking part here. We wanted you to see what it looked like on a machined aluminum part um, so that you can see if this is going to work for you. Now, you can probably think, okay, well, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, well, the, the part looks the same, wet versus dry. You're exactly right. Um, there's going to be some sort of surface roughness difference here uh, between the two finishes, but also what we need to focus on in this video, we need to focus on the efficiency of the process. Wet systems are so much more efficient than dry systems because of the medium that's being carried in the water. The water's carrying everything. You're getting even dispersion across the part. It's flowing across the surface and it's doing a much better job. You reduce the chance of hot spotting the part, which would be light and dark areas on the piece. Also, the dust factor. The dust is greatly reduced. Um, a lot of people have no idea how much dust reduction you're going to get switching to a vapor honing system. Uh, it's actually phenomenal. Uh, the parts come out cleaner because you're going to rinse these parts off after the vapor honing system. Um, of course, the dry system, you're just going to be able to dry the part, blow it off, not really dry it, it's not wet, but blow it off so it always has this chalky type texture to it. Um, you always feel like you have some sort of grit left behind. And, um, and it's very true, you have to do some sort of rinsing or something to, to remove all of the grit from the part. But this is a very straightforward piece. Uh, we've been working on finishing these parts and so making them look better um, for the customer, but I just wanted to use this part to show you um, that we can oftentimes achieve the same result as a dry cabinet aesthetically. So if you want a matte part, but you're just looking to increase the output and efficiency and reduce the dust, that's where we can come in and help you. Um, I think there's been so many misconceptions across the board in the past that we can't really emulate those types of finishes um, that a dry blast can achieve or that a dry blast can't achieve. But the fact is we can, it all comes down to the type of abrasive that we use and the pressure. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have an application such as this that you need help with, uh, please let the sales team know, call and email them. They're always here and happy to help you with your next project and they can get you set up with the right machine. So as always guys, if you like it, hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, drop some comments below. We'd love to hear your comments. And as always, thanks for watching.